Hey Chuglets, thanks for clicking on the video and welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would show you how to clean your chamois. For those of you that use chamois, they are much better than towels in my opinion. And they are kind of expensive too. So, you know, you want to make them last, get the most use out of them, as much use as you can before you have to go and replace them and buy a new one. Um... What you don't want to do is you don't want to put them in the washing machine. That's really bad. Um, and you don't want to use soap on them. The thing to remember is that it is a piece of suede. And suede is a pretty finicky material. So you want to, you want to take care of it. Um, what I like to do is I take some OxyClean. And I mix up a little bit with some warm water. And then just take an old toothbrush or a new toothbrush that's unused, whatever, a firmer bristle, and just dip the OxyClean, or dip the toothbrush in the OxyClean and make little circles like that. We'll zoom in here so you can see. There we go. Haha. <laughs> yeah, what you want to do is you want to just kind of make little circles to just kind of agitate the oil and all the dirt and stuff off it. And I want to point out, it's not going to make your chamois look brand new again. It is not going to do that. But what it will do is loosen up some of that oil and dirt from the surface and make it easier to rub off with a rag, that which, uh, which is what we're going to do later on after we wash it. And you want to do half of the chamois at a time. Most people, or at least me, I only use one side of my chamois. So I'm only going to clean one side of it. But yeah, it makes it easier if you just kind of do one side at a time. Or one half of your chamois at a time. But yeah, like I said, this isn't going to make it look brand new. But it is going to kind of restore the life in back into your chamois and like I said get off some of that surface oil and the reason you don't want to use soap or a detergent or anything like that is it will dry out your chamois and it will make it very hard and stiff and stiff chamois are awful it's also the same reason you don't want to put it in the washing machine. All right. So like I said, just kind of short, quick circles. And all you're really doing is just agitating the oil, getting it out of there. You don't want to soak your chamois. All right, almost done. And you want to do it enough. You want to get your chamois damp, not soaked, but it's going to be damp. And just a warning, this is a little messy. This will take some of the color and dye off of your chamois while you're doing it, but that's okay. Alright, so once you have your chamois damp like that, you're just going to take your toothbrush just kind of go over the whole thing one more time just to kind of agitate it a little bit. I've been doing this with my chamois for a few months now. 
And then, like I said, it really, it really helps because they are expensive. All right, that's pretty good. So once you have the chamois agitated and washed, and you're just gonna take a dry rag. With that dry rag, you're just gonna kinda go over the chamois and just kinda get off that top layer and just agitate it some more. And what you're doing also with by doing this is you're pulling up some of that water that's in there. Told you, it's messy. So when you're done, your chamois should be damp. You can kind of tell the difference between dry and damp. It'll be damp, and then what you want to do is you just want to let it air dry for however long it takes it to air dry. Overnight, in a couple hours usually, uh, face up, the wet side up, obviously. So I did one earlier. This is what it looks like. It still has a little drying to do but like i said it's not going to make them look brand new but it will absorb the oil off the ball and like i said it'll make it a little bit more vibrant it'll just kind of restore life to your chamois so hope this helps you and please make sure to like subscribe to my videos and share share my videos and keep on chugging